everybody, this is Tekka, and in this video what I'm going to be doing is showing you the scrolling menu sign plugin for Bucket, and I'm going to be going over some of the basics, how to create a basic sign, and some of the commands you're going to be needing to know, as well as some redstone things, which is pretty cool. Now, I'm not going to be going over everything, so there'll be a link in the description to all the information you need, as well as all of the features that you're going to be seeing. So, let's get started with this plugin. Alright, creating a sign is a rather simple process. All you're going to need to do is set down the sign. Don't type anything on the sign. You can if you want to, but it's kind of useless. Hit done, and then you're going to want to look directly at your sign and type in the following command, SMS, which stands for scrolling menu sign. And then you're going to want to do create. Give your menu a name or give your sign a name, and I'm going to call it time two because I already have a time sign that I used in the beginning of the video and then you're going to want to give it a title so you can use a color code so I'm just going to use red which is four and then I'm going to call it time just like that and then when I do that you can see that it says time and there's the little ticker right there which allows you to go through your options but the sign currently has no options so what we're going to do is we're going to add some all you need to do is look directly at your sign do the same SMS command and then do add my, actually do add time to the name of your sign and then you're going to want to give your option a name so I'm going to call this day and then in quotations you're going to want to put your command so you can do time and then day and then you're going to want to add some extra options so the one you're probably going to use is the feedback one so you can just type feedback and then do it's day just like that and then hit enter and there should be a day option now we're going to add a, another one which is night so if I do SMS add add time to so I'm going to add to the time to sign night and then I'm going to add time night and then I'm going to add feedback put in quotations it's night just like that hit enter and there should be the night option and I'm going to test some and I'm going to add a third one which is going to be SMS add and then the name of the sign so time two I'm going to call this morning and I'm going to give it the command time dawn world and then I'm going to give it an option which is feedback and I'm going to call this good morning just like that and then there should be a morning option now to scroll and execute commands all you're going to need to do well first you can right click on the sign which will go through the list if you sneak and go through the list it will go the other way and you can also look at the list of commands and use your mouse wheel to scroll through them now to execute them all you need to do is click on your sign just by going over the option you want and clicking as you can see it says the time was set to the time that you have the command to do and then it says good morning as I set previously now I can set it to night and then I can set it to day so that is how you create and execute the signs one thing I really love about this plugin is the map views so you don't need to be at a sign to use the menu signs you can do SMS and then simply type give map and then the name of your sign which is time to so it says gave one map to Brandon Hopkins and if I go to my map you can see I have the option for day night and morning and I can execute those just by right clicking and then clicking for morning day and night and that is very very useful for admins or anybody who you get grant access to use this uh, plugin another neat feature is you can sync signs up die we you can sync signs up to uh, other sign menus so if I wanted another time to sign somewhere else such as way over here out in the middle of nowhere I could set a sign down and then look directly at it and type SMS sync just like that and then you're going to want to do the name of your sign so time two 
As you can see, my time too is right there, so I can just go through it and do my options as so. All right, another cool feature is the multi-sign menus. So I created a menu here. As you can see, it is the item spawn menu, and I put in about 13 or so, I'm not exactly sure the number, but I put in a good amount of items there, and I want the menu, instead of displaying on a single sign, to display on a majority of these signs. So what I'm going to do, I created this menu and it's called IS, abbreviation for item spawn if you're wondering. So I'm going to create the multi-sign menu. So I'm just going to do um, SMS and then I'm going to type SYNC, so S-Y-N-K, the name of your menu which is IS and then an abbreviation for multi. So it's going to look just like that. Hit enter. And as you can see, it is the item spawn, and if I go through the list here, it will go through every item that is there. One other thing I found interesting is the redstone output. So if I create a new sign, just MSS, create, and then I'm going to call it RS for redstone, and then I'm going to call it just a switch, switcher, just like this. Hit enter, it's going to say switcher, and now... If I look at the sign and type in the add command, type in 1 backslash 1, and then I'm going to do it again, type in 2 backslash 2. Now you can do this however you want, but you may want to look at the actual page where it teaches you the redstone output. 2, and I'm going to add a third one, 3 backslash 3. Three, just like that. And I'm going to give myself some levers, so lever, lever, three, and I'm going to want to put the item in my hand and make sure one is selected, and I'm going to left click, and I'm going to set my first one, I'm going to scroll to two, put the second one in my hand, click, set that down, then I'm going to scroll to 3, I'm going to put the third one in my hand, left click, and set that down, and then I'm going to get some redstone, so I redstone, and let's see, 3 is selected. Now if I go over here and right click, as you can see, it's going to go in between the levers, so you could do some cool things by adding lights or doing whatever you need to do. So that is a redstone output method. You could also do things such as changing the output mode, detaching layers, and other cool things like that. So that is the basic stuff I'm going to go over in the game. Now I'm going to give you a quick run through through the configuration. Alright, so once you're in your plugins folder, you should have the scrolling menu sign folder right there. If you've installed it correctly, you put the jar file in the plugins folder and ran your server correctly. So going into here, you're going to have a config file and a few folders. You have your fonts folder, a image cache folder, and a data folder. Now here, it's going to store all the macros, menus, variables, and views. So here is the views. It's just going to show when it was viewed and some extra information like that. But the most important thing is menus. Here you can actually edit your menus through the config, so you can edit the menus in-game, but it may be easier for some people just to do it in the config. So here it shows the command. Now I messed up in one of these. It's sunny, here comes the rain. I messed up right here. Here comes the rain. Now I meant to do stormy. This is just an example stormy. I did the command wrong. So you just do that, restart your server, say, well you turn off your server, save it, and then turn on your server, and then that will be fixed. So that is an example of one thing you could do in there. Now the config, I'm not going to go over it in very much detail, but I'm going to give you a quick run through. First we have the actions, so you have left click is execute, and it gives you extra options while sneaking. So scrolling wheel, you can uh, set it so if you're sneaking it doesn't scroll or you can set none, wheel down, so let's say I wanted you to only be able to use the scroll wheel when you're crouching or sneaking, so I would type none, and then the wheel will do nothing unless if you're sneaking, and wheel up, right click, and then you could do some spout options, which is key up and key down. 
Then you have some auto save options, some physic options. Now, I'm not going to go over everything like I said. There is a very detailed uh, config configuration page on the actual uh, plugins page that you can look at so you can see your configuration references and see things such as a view justify justification of all menus can be either left, right, or center so that you would find that in there and change that as you would like to. Um, you can set the font for maps, font size, so you can make things bigger, uh, show tooltips, uh, you can transfer some things, spout, you can enable the spout double click feature, you can list background, show tips, redstone control, you can execute and you can scroll up, scroll down, and a bunch more. I'm not going to really get into the config in deep detail because there's the resources available to you to do some research and find out more information than what I could actually tell you. Now once again this is a very complex plugin. There's a lot of features to it. I would be nearly impossible for me to go over all the features in the time I have to record this video. So you can go to the plugin page and I highly recommend you going to the quick start guide and going over creating a menu, adding entries, goes over some more things that I was not able to cover. Makes you go over tabs, adding a new sign view, map views which I went over pretty well, multi sign views in more detail, allows you to go over inventory views which I did not talk about, allows you to go over spout views which I also did not talk about, um, redstone view, uh, then we have sub menus, item tool tips, and some advanced commands as well as permission evaluation, and a whole bunch of other things that I was not able to go over. I went over the basics and I helped you get started. There's also the redstone output which I briefly covered, Here's a demo video, just like, very similar to what I did, and gives you some more example commands and things you could do with toggling, toggling, and things like that. So, I hope this video helped you in some sort of way. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Have a fantastic day. Once again, everything will be in the description, and goodbye.